Let's go ahead and grab this horse. Wrong way, horsey. Whoa, that was a glitch. Oh, crap. I forgot to check, just to be sure. Yep, this is the first memory. Good. That would suck if I did the whole mission and then it wasn't even the correct order. I would edit it to show it as such. I mean, I would be playing in a different order, but I'd try to show you guys. I think I've done that before. It happens. I think sometimes I just let it slide. Like, for side missions, if it's out of order, I really don't care. But for main missions, um, I'll try to do it in order. What a night this has been. Volpe, listen to me. I know what we saw. But you have nothing to fear from Machiavelli. I am sure of it. I have you to thank for saving Claudio's life. If you believe Machiavelli remains loyal to the Order, I trust you. So, what of the thieves? We had plans to repair this old building, but now that you and I are working together, I would like to know what you think. We need to make sure the Borgias stay away. Perhaps it could look like an inn. Yes. Hmm, I like that idea. Then I will make it so. Let's read about La Volpe. La Volpe, date of birth, unknown, profession, thief. There's almost no, no trace of La Volpe, the fox, in the history books. The name obviously, uh, so no, I cannot say that word, so is it Synodome? Uh, I don't fucking know. I'm just gonna say Synodium. Yep, that's the best I can do. But for whom is anyone's guess? After assisting Ezio in Florence with his fight against Savonarola, in, in 1498, La Volpe disappears from the record once more. Although there is a small amount of evidence suggesting that someone fitting his description with bright violet eyes was seen at one of the Vatican orgies. Lurking orgies. Is it origies? Please tell me I'm not saying that word wrong. Anyway, lurking in the shadows, according to court... <clears throat> excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm just messing up words today. According to court records, the day after, several cardinals discovered their purses robbed of all but their Bibles. <laughs> Vatican orgies. I don't think I'm saying that right. Or maybe it's just my dirty mind. Just, I don't know. Orgies, orgies, doesn't matter. The point is, he robbed people. Renovating buildings, architects. Architects. In contrast to the hard geometric brutalism of Florentine architecture, Roman Renaissance architecture represented a true return to classical proportion, with buildings that sported classical columns, structural elements, and decorative forms, forms but also integrated new ideas from Florence, like the Grand Palazzo blocks. Although many of the architects in Rome came from up north, they were inspired by the old ruins, creating an interplay with the ancient Roman structures throughout the city. Roman architects saw themselves as fulfilling of all, fulfilling of all human history, creating the essential expression of human will through the perfect cityscape. Out of this tradition of formalized expression came the great Renaissance architects Bar Bramante and Michelangelo. Renovating this building will allow the thieves to have a more prominent presence in Rome, aiding in the fight against the Borgia. Upgrade. Welcome, Ezio, to La Volpe Addormentata. The inn looks perfect. No one will ever suspect its real purpose. The guild will be run from here. Visit me whenever you like. There might be objectives to pursue that will help our cause in the city. I see you thieves compete against each other. You can participate if you wish. Perhaps you will show them a thing or two. Ah, yes, I forgot. We also have gambling. It is a great source of income, especially since we ensure that the Borgia guards always lose. One last thing. I need your spies to find the apple. It has been taken from me. We are searching the city for it already. Molto bene. Come to Isola Tiberina with your findings. I shall.
double agent. Let's look at this. Okay, these are the Thieves Guild challenges, and we'll do this as we go throughout the game. There might be moments where I'll be specifically trying to get these, but there might be times I might just skip ahead. Oh my god. My dog just scared the crap out of me. Probably... I don't know if you guys heard it, but my dog just barked and scared the living crap out of me. Thief missions. Okay, we'll start those later. Right now, we're going to just focus on the main sequence. Ooh, a new memory, Christina. Those memories unlock as um, you get more synchronization. These marker identify the location memories from restored sequence. Okay, yeah, that's... Let me look at that. What is that? Is that over here? Yeah, that is over here. This is um DLC that we are gonna do after we do the main story. These are memories that are restored memories after you get like certain synchronization. And they're just memories about Ezio's old love, Christina from Florence. But we're gonna do the do that later. All right, where's next to? We're actually going to head to this memory right here, I think. I think this is what's next. I could be wrong, so please, don't hate me. Ah, these are all the fast travel points that need renovated so we're just gonna fast travel to the closest we can get to Oh, we didn't even get a good look at this hideout yet. This place is pretty cool, I'll give it that. We have a well established. We'll go ahead and buy, I don't know. Next time. Ah, shit. We're gonna go ahead and catch this guy and then buy that Roman longsword. Because he's pretty much gonna pay for it. Where the hell did he go? Son of a biscuit. Get back here. Oh, what the? Well, nah, I don't feel like chasing him anymore. That was a, that was a bit discouraging. I give up. I mean, if I still see him, I'm gonna chase him. But I think he got away. The 
jerk pushed me off. Alright, now usually I'd wait till I have like a bigger discount to buy stuff like this. But since this is like I think probably like one of the cheapest swords, I'll go ahead and buy this. That way, like we can just have something better than the common sword. And heck yeah, we'll do the same thing with the knife. Since it's a little bit better than the stiletto. It's probably a good idea. And the crossbow we'll have to save up for. Glad to be of service. Have you not saved? Alright. Let's go check what these other places have. Selected works from the lesser man. Nah. Oh. I mean, we're getting closer to getting this shop quest done. We just need one of each of those items, and then we can trade them all for the that map. Of course, we can't really get that stuff yet because that area isn't unlocked, but um, we'll eventually get it. Um, What the? That guy just straight insulted me because I didn't want to buy a shit. What a jerk. Ponte Fabricio. Fabricio, I think it is. Ponte Fabricio. This is the oldest Roman bridge standing in its original form within the city limits. Spanning the Tiber River, it was built in 62 BCE by Lucius Fabricius. Considering Lucius had his name engraved in four different places along the 62-meter bridge, it is thought that he may have been a little bit conceited. You think? I mean, if I built something like that, I want people to know I did it, right? Oh, there it is. For a second, I was like, where the heck is it? There's some other chest that we can get. I think it's good just to grab the chest as soon as possible, so you can just earn, keep earning money as fast as you can. Ah. Drop. There we go. Hey, I think that was probably one of the items. Was it? I don't know for... What the heck? Okay, my dog barked and it scared the crap out of me. So let's go ahead and start making our way downtown. Technically, in a sense. Alright, you probably noticed a little cut right there, but I had to leave for a second to go check on my dog. And make sure he was happy and stuff, so he just figured out why he was barking, you know? Gotta care for your animals. But I am back. So you had I sorry I had to step away though. Probably won't make a big difference because I'll edit it as such. <sighs> I love my dog though. I'm pretty sure you guys didn't hear him. But it was just loud enough and it like that it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> like it caught me off guard, you know. I'm just I'm staring at the screen, all I hear is a big like a bark from across my house, and I don't know what the hell's going on. Luckily, though, you guys didn't hear it. Don't want my scared, like, scared feeling to be you guys as well. Because I care for you. 
And I'm not just being sarcastic to be funny in a sense. But anyway, enough with me sucking up. We're going to go ahead and start this next mission. Which hopefully is the next one in the sequence. Alright, I actually found out that this was not the next mission to go to. So we're going to actually head to the other one, unfortunately. <laughs> Went all this way for nothing. Except to get barked at by my dog. Had to go check him out. And then just do a whole mission and then realize at the last second that it wasn't the correct order. But that's no big deal. We saw, we did it before. Well, at least I figured that out before I completed the whole mission, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and actually just head our way over to the other one. Now, I don't know where I'm going to cut it at, but that's quite unfortunate. I went all the way just to be told no by myself. As you can see, I had to check the deck DNA sequence. The DNA sequence will tell us. See, because this was the one that I just tried. I went to and I checked out to be sure that it was um, the next one, but it actually wasn't. So, I'm glad we figured that out. So, we're actually going to head to the Tuscan countryside. Oh, shit. Well, we've actually been grabbing chests along the way, so it's not like this trip has been a complete waste. And I believe we actually had a bank... A bank, um... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh... Bank deposit, so we have some money that we can withdraw if we want to. So the trip wasn't a complete waste. I've heard love me. We'll go ahead and grab this chest over here as well. Hey, we actually need that. See, see, it is in complete waste. Awesome. As far as I'm concerned, we're just figuring out the works. Hey, a flag. I'll take that. Luckily, you can buy maps of the flag, so it doesn't it won't make it hard to find all of them if you just pick them up as you see them, which is pretty nice. I really like that cuz it's like, "Hey, it's right there. Let me grab this." Except in the past where I had to play, "Hey, we actually needed that too." See, we're getting stuff that we need. What was I saying? Oh yeah, it's just gl it just makes me glad that uh all right well we grabbed we're just getting a bunch of stuff so this actually been working out in our favor what was I saying oh yeah so um I completely forget what I was saying because the fucking thief damn you thief it's all good but um ooh the Kale Curinale Kale Curinale Situated northeast of the cent city centre, center, Kirinale was one of the seven hills of Rome. Tombs from the 8th and 7th century BCE have been found here, confirming theories of its existence as, Sabine settlement, as a Sabine settlement before being assimilated by Rome. Constantine the fir first had his lavish private baths built here as well, although all that remain are a few drawings. Well, that's unfortunate. Ah, it's one of these French camps. I'm actually going to get started on um, getting these uh, long-range kills for Thieves Skill challenges by doing this. Oh, no. What was that? Who did that? I don't know. I swear, I just saw a knife get thrown out of nowhere and just stab him in the neck. Oh, it's one of these guys. These are the Harley Quins. The guy standing on his hand. They're a special hidden collectible that you get if you get the DLC. 
Now, I'm not going to try to get them right now. I'll get them later. But that's what they are. We'll go ahead and get that guy later. We have to beat him up. But we'll save it. I'm not ready to remember which ones I got or not. I think there's like four in the city and then one here. And that's the one here. There's only five of them. But you got to like beat him up in a fist fight. Entering Batista Borgia's territory. Kill him to remove the Borgia influence over the area. I think that's involved in the mission itself. And I actually want to check something out. Hold on, let me check something. Do, 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 do. Borgia Towers. Jacopo di Grassi. Jacopo likes to oversee his district from the top of his tower. Oh, these tell us actually about each and every one of the uh, Borgia captains. So let's go ahead and find... What was his name? Batista Borgia. Batista Borgia. Batista is the sly third cousin of Cesare. He is quick to run off and tell the Captain General everything he sees and hears. Oh, this sounds like a total ass wipe. Casurma di Alviano. Casurma di Alviano, Rebecca A4. Said the coordinates Sean took from Subject 16 converges on this landmark. Maybe you should check it out. Used by Bartolomeo until 1503, his barracks became a training ground for mercenaries until they fell into disrepair and were level leveled to make a way for enlarging the city. The spot was marked for a memorial in 1960, but no one was quite sure where the barracks where the barracks were actually located, so the idea was scrapped in favor of a park, which was, in turn, scrapped in favor of a fast food restaurant. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Alright, let's start this. It's your auditore! Come in, come in! I'll kill you if you don't. <laughs> Bartolomeo. Wait here. You have to meet my wife. Fantasilea! Fantasilea! Where is she? Did you check behind the table? Ah, here she is. Lieta di conoscervi. Charmed. Truly. Now, we talk about war. How was the fight against the French? Bene. My men are holding their own. Machiavelli seemed to think things were more difficult. You know Machiavelli... Abbiamo bisogno del vostro aiuto! Scusatemi. Throw me Bianca. Ezio, let me get straight to the point. The fight is not going well. We have been attacked on both sides. Borgia on one, French on the other. But know this. The Borgia position is weak. If you can defeat them, we can concentrate our forces on the French front. I think I know a way to help. Thank you for disclosing this to me, Madonna Dalviano. It is the least a wife can do to help her husband. Between a rock and a hard place. Eliminate the Borgia captain sending his troops to attack the barracks so the mercenaries can focus entirely on the French assault. Full synchronization. Kill only the Borgia captain. It must be him. Bartolomeo di Alviano. Bartolomeo di Alviano. Date of birth, 1455. Profession, Conte de Tiero. Born in the town of Alviano in central Italy, Bartolomeo grew up to be a clever and resourceful soldier. After spending several years in Venice, during which he aided Ezio Auditore in his campaign against Silvio Babarigo and Dante Moro at the Arsenal, Bartolomeo joined the Orsini family in 1496 to fight against the Pope and Cesare, who were attempting to seize Orsini territory. A few years before Cesare had him killed, the Pope's eldest son, Juan Borgia, the Duke of Gandia, waged an inept campaign against them. At one point during the siege of Bracciano, Bartolomeo sent an an ass out of the gates with a sign around its neck reading, Let me go, for I am an ambassador to the Duke of Candia. The letter roped to its tail contained further insults. After his victory at Bracciano, Bartomeo moved to Rome and remarried. Yes, Bantasiella Baglioni was not Bartomeo's first wife. Oddly enough, he originally paired up with his 
nominal doppelganger Bartolomea Orsini, who died during the Borgia assault in 1497. He married Batasalia the same year and immediately became entangled in a battle with the French faction of Cesare's army, led by the Baron de Valois. Just goes goes to show that wives may come and go, but battles are forever. At the end of 1503, Bartolomeo left Rome after being hired by Ferdinand II of Spain to help the Spanish army defeat the French and seize the Kingdom of Naples. The following year, he defeated Maximilian I, the Holy Roman Emperor, taking Triste and Gorizia. Impressed, Venice elected him to the off office of Governor General. Everything was coming up roses for Bartolomeo until the disastrous Battle of Agonia Adello in 1509, when he disobeyed orders to avoid combat and directly attacked the French army. The battle was lost, Bartolomeo was captured and wounded by the French, and the Venetians lost Lombardy, a province that had taken them 800 years' exertion to conquer. Furious, Venice refused to help Bartolomeo despite his claim that the French commander had stolen a priceless Venetian artifact, which he was attempting to rescue. Bartolomeo was kept in French prison until 1513, but the French, as we all know, are very forgiving. He was sprung from jail to fight for them, managing to defeat the Swiss with only 300 men in 1515. Later the same year, once restored to his former glory as general of the Venetian army, he was killed besieging Brzezinski. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've been saying so many words I don't know how to say. Brzezinski. Venice welcomed his body home with a grand ceremony and buried him in the French, French church. <clears throat> Not the French church, the church of Santo Stefano. Man, that was a lot. Someone stop their leader before he gets to the tower. But the Celia Bunglioni. Date of birth, 1476. Profession, wife. Although she may look harmless, Bantizelli comes from a long line of fierce fighters. The Bontrelioni, rulers of Perugia. <laughs> have been at, I cannot, there's so many words that I just don't know how to say and I feel bad. Had been at war with the Adi family for some time and skirmishes in the squares of the city became an almost daily occurrence. At one point, the cathedral was used as a barracks. In 1500, during the marriage of Astoria Bagiglioni, the Adi attacked, killing the groom and several others. The Bagiglioni counterattacked and several of the Adi were murdered. The marriage party became a massacre. Pantasilia, I cannot say her name, Pantasilia was a product of that rough environment. She was smart, unafraid, and tough, and unlike her husband, she had tact. But the Celia was known for sharp strategies. Whenever the girl encounters resistance, like the waters of the Tevere, she changes course until she has that for which she came. Now she has you. May you both be better for it, wrote Doge Agostino Barbarigo after learning of Bartolomeo and Batasilea's marriage in 15, and not 15, 1498. Oh well, let's go. Let me read about this. Colli Viminale. The smallest of the seven hills of Rome, Viminale is shaped like a little finger pointing towards the central city. At the top stands the Palace of Viminale, which is the office of the Ministry of Interior. This little hill was also home to the Termi di Disanziano, which was renowned as the grandest of the public baths. Oh, Alright, now let's loot this guy. He has a lot of money. Alright. Alright, now how are we going to do this? towers over there. We killed only the captain so far, so to get 100% secretization, we're going to have to avoid killing anyone else. And like always, I keep forgetting to check this. Ah, this is the second memory. That's good, that's good. I know it's quite obvious, but never can be too sure, I guess. Oh, there's a Borgia flag right there. 
You know, just for good measure, I'm gonna synchronize. That way, if he doesn't do it after we burn down the tower, then I'll have it already synchronized and I don't have to climb all the way back up here. Alright, I couldn't remember if it actually did synchronize it or not, but I think it I think it would have. But you never can be too sure about that kind of thing. 